So the next thing is the philosophical question of are humans machines? And in that section, it talks about like uh, who believes what. So Brother D will probably go over that because he usually makes reference to that stuff. Right. So it says, uh, what is the first thing? Let me see if I can find it here. So materialists, materialists believe that humans are nothing but physical systems. Uh, and for the materialists, they don't believe there's a ghost in the machine or a mind. And uh, for them, there's no reason to wonder whether a non-human machine can think or not because uh, you're, you're embracing dualism by doing so. So they view like artificial intelligence as a form of dualism instead of monism. Okay. So they're against it. And it says, uh, being materialists, radical behaviorists do not deny that machines could be made that duplicate human behavior. However, such a machine cannot think any more than humans can think, and therefore talk of duplicating human thought processes is played nonsense. So radical behaviorists are against AI. Okay. Which seems understandable. Yeah. You know, well, not from their perspective, but being against AI is understandable, I think. I agree with everything Searle says in this chapter. Like, what Searle said is about the only thing in this chapter I agree with. <laughs> so the chapter is about AI? Yeah. For the most part. Because the next thing I have is Alan Turing. So, uh, is he the one that came up with the test? Yeah. Like the Chinese room? Yeah. Or no, Searle yeah. came up with the Chinese room. Turing was the guy who came up with the Turing test, which was, if you can trick a human into thinking a robot is actually human, then right. that's the Turing test. So that's like all he did. Okay. And the next one was George Miller. Let's keep going with this, though. Uh, really quick. Okay. Uh, Standing in firm opposition to using any form of AI as a model for understanding the human mind would be all rationalistic philosophers. Also in opposition would be the romantic and existential philosophers and the modern humanistic psychologists. Aside from postulating human free will, humanistic psychologists claim that there are so many important unique human attributes such as creativity and the innate tendency towards self-actualization that the very idea of machine simulation of human attributes is ridiculous and perhaps even dangerous. It may be dangerous because if we view humans as machines, we may treat them as machines. And if we treat them as machines, they may act like machines. According to the humanistic psychologist, this is what tends to happen when the methods and assumptions of the natural sciences are applied to the study of humans. Completely agree with that, 100%. With such methods, humans are treated like physical objects, machines, and are thus desacralized. Most humanistic psychologists find the very idea of AI repulsive. So if you want to write down who disagrees with it, that's probably helpful. Humanistic psychologists? Humanistic psychologists, romantic and existential philosophers, rationalistic philosophers, radical behaviorists.